What's up everybody, we're back with another video and this is going to be the very first video of all new segment here on the channel. Before I let you guys know what we're going to be doing today, make sure you guys drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Now what we're going to be doing today is doing a tier list. I finally got the proper tools to go ahead and do these sorts of videos. I'm really excited. It's the very, very first one to do in reactions, tier list, etc, etc. Since Apex Legends Season 12 is on its way next week, I decided to go, you know, to go ahead and record a um, tier list about each of the seeds in the Apex Legends, which ones I think is better. Now, these are my opinions, guys. Everybody has their own opinions. But before we go ahead and get started, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section 100% true thumb what you guys think about the tier list. If I should continue to do these on different topics, it doesn't have to be gaming related, um, anything, etc. Let me know what you guys really think about these in the comments. And let me know some of you guys' opinions too, because I'm pretty sure there's different ones. We're gonna go ahead and finally get into this video. Okay, so already here we have the tier list up guys i do want to say if it is lagging a little bit my fault my bad for some reason sometimes when i'm on the tier list doing any other thing it kind of acts up a little bit due to all these ads on the side but here are all the um apex legend seasons um like i said we can't really review uh 12 yet because it's not here but we're gonna go ahead and get started now my reasons for some of this is a little bit different than some of you guys's everybody has different opinions and different reasons for things so no bs in the comments all right all right so anyway here we have season one now season one um they already had a beta season before season one started as does any other multiplayer game but we're not really going to talk about that and i think that's kind of when mirage was low-key um introduced into there but season one i believe and maybe i'm wrong guys um when apex first came out i played and i definitely was not dedicated i was more so on fortnite so if i do say something wrong let me know in the comments it definitely is possible but season one was um octane season now octane used to be one of my mains he's one of my very very favorite characters when this season came out, I'm not going to say, I probably only played a few hours of this, but I will say when I did get on and I saw that Octane was a character, I instantly fell in love. I feel like season one of any game doesn't get as much respect because it's kind of like a trial period. You know what I mean? This is where they get the official battle passes. They clean up bugs. You know what I mean? They start adding new things to kind of see if their customers, if their players actually like it. So like I said to me, every season one, in a game shouldn't really be in an s tier it's literally a trial and error um period so let's pick this up where am i gonna put octane season like i said octane season was pretty good i liked his area you know what i'm saying the loot pool was pretty good that's when i realized from the beta that apex was really you know on their grind as far as taking care of their game and adding lots of fun stuff to it and kind of making it more intriguing for us to play i'm gonna give this um probably a c tier due to that like i said could it have been more yes but you can't really knock them down since it was literally their first season so that's why i'm gonna put that there now we have season two which was watson season now guys i'm not really a watson fan for real i will tell you that now i think her whole kit is very very nice but we're thinking about the official gameplay season two is where apex slowly started to work its way up it started to gain a lot more players um a lot of times things were handled there really wasn't that much of an issue um in season 10 to me i think the gameplay was smooth um and of course we got watching everybody was really addicted to her when she was released <clears throat> she still has a lot of um fans uh you know mains playing her as well i think season two is where apex was lowly you know slowly starting to kind of get their shit together and kind of level up as the game since it already had its season one this is where it's going to kind of do a little bit of a percentage upgrade as to season one so of course out of respect for that and like i said they started adding newer things newer weapons and etc here i'm going to put watson season here at b i definitely think it was very playable wasn't too much issues for that now guys <laughs> Apex Legends Season 3 Crypto Season was my all-time favorite season, period. I think the freaking trailer is what did it for me. 
I loved it. First of all, I like how it was kind of a mystery with us discovering um, Crypto's hidden things in the game too. We all wanted to kind of get tea. And that's kind of where you dropped in the game and kind of saw little sneak uh, peeks at things and stuff like that. It was really a process. I felt like a detective. It was really fun. I don't really play with Crypto as much though, but the whole mystery behind his character, whenever we were, you know, first told that he was actually going to be into the game, it was really, really fun playing detective. It was really, really amazing. And that trailer hit the spot. Now, I'm not going to put this there. I did not mean to do that. S tier, bro. S tier. 100%. I don't think we was going for any issues. And we got a new map, guys. Um, That map, I ain't gonna lie, when it first came out, people were complaining they wanted Kings Canyon back. But to me, guys, the whole train, the snow, I just think the map was a very, very big change. And it was really beautiful graphically. It, it changed the game for the very first time as to being on Kings Canyon. So that's why, to me, it gets an S tier, guys. All right, so season four, um, that's literally Revenant's season. Now this is where Apex really starts to kind of pick up as far as their lore goes. Um, everything was slowly starting to become a story. Now Revenant's story was creepy. Um, it was really good and I low key wish it was a show for real. It was very, very dramatic. Revenant as a character, 100% very, very an amazing legend in this game. His death totem, I think the thought of Revenant on any team is just scary. We kind of fear Revenant like we do when there's a caustic uh, present. I definitely really enjoyed this season. Season four is when I really started to get into it. I moved to um, Pennsylvania and I got my wife into Apex Legends. So we really was grinding season four. She was addicted. I was addicted. Um, I'm not going to give this an S tier, but it's definitely gonna get an a plus for me very very close to s tier um same as this one this was a continuation to season four um revenant and loba have some things in common they have smoke with each other they have beef loba's kits fire the black market i think when i think of a loba it's almost like you know sassiness you know what i mean and i like that I like her attitude i like her character as a whole i really really enjoyed her season the trailer was fire her and Revenant's trailer was fire. It was really, really addictive. I remember going back and forth, re-watching it tons and tons after that. I'm sorry, guys, but for me, I really want to give Loba an S tier. Now, let me go ahead and go back up. Oh, there we go. And I'm sorry, but she's getting an S tier for me. I grind the hell out of it, and so did my wife. And um, Loba's actually one of the characters I play with quite a bit, too. I definitely, definitely enjoyed that. Now, next we have here is Season 6, and this was Rampart Season. To me, Rampart Season didn't make sense. It didn't really explain too much. Season 6 kind of hit us in the middle of nowhere, like the trailer did it make sense it was like a lot of colors i did like the colorway of this um you know this season the theme of it but to me when i saw it and i was excited for a new season i was like yo what the fuck is this like this doesn't make sense to me the season wasn't really that great this is where apex really started to sink a little bit as far as keeping their game playable i noticed during season six is when apex really started to be on bullshit as far as the game lagging the game not working you could have 900 megabits per second of internet and the game would just crash and crash and crash um the texture packs wouldn't load up right the game started to really kind of fuck up on this season and again guys i didn't really play this season i thought it was pointless it kind of wasn't really an upgrade from the last season it was kind of like the same thing we did get um rampart but like it, it just wasn't enough to me and i think they definitely could have did better so to me, I'm going to have to put this where I want to put this at. I'm going to give this probably a D. Like like I said, I was on it for a little while just because I wanted to play Apex, but I just wasn't into it. Now, here we have season seven. Season seven was Horizons season now i ain't gonna cap i do not like horizon not because she's horrible i just don't like how good she is um as far as other people playing with her i think horizon is a very very great legend and i'm just a hater that's all it is 
but I do I did really enjoy this season prior to the season coming out there was little hints and stuff of Horizon in game again so we all got to like kind of work as a squad to kind of you know do little side quests in the game to learn more about Horizon's story I remember we had to go to her rips inside the game it would bring us up and Horizon would have a message and she would start talking and it was more interactive for real because it was all in game and not kind of like at the loading screen so the mystery for Horizon was really really good just like crypto how like I said we had to work for it inside the game to kind of learn more about her story so i'm definitely not gonna give her an s but i'm definitely gonna put her in a i definitely think she was a it was a very very nice season there still was issues as far as keeping the servers up and running cleanly um updates weren't coming like they should have like i said it was not too much playable for real for real not even gonna lie but when i did play i had a blast so here we have season eight this was Fuse's season. Now, guys, I think Fuse is one of the most annoying characters. Now, did I enjoy the game? I low-key, I can't even lie to y'all, I didn't really want to play this season. Not for the fact that Apex is 100% trash, but it really started to get super bad as far as being playable this season. I really tried to get on every day and grind out the battle pass. I, I couldn't. I would get kicked out. I wouldn't get lobbies. It was just ridiculous. Fuse as a legend, he's a good legend. I think all the legends are um, great for many different people, but he was way too loud. His, you know, his um, ultimate, all his stuff was just extremely loud, and I think they should have definitely adjusted his audio for that. That was kind of pissing me and everybody else off as well. So there's that. I definitely, you know what I'm saying, am annoyed with that. But like I said, guys, I barely could even play this game. But I'm not going to hate on this season. I don't think there was really nothing new added to this season. They gave us a legend. They gave us a battle pass. And that was really it. So I'm definitely going to put this probably in C. Like I said, so-so. Nothing more, nothing less. Legacy. Now, this was Valkyrie's season. We got Olympus. You know what I mean? Um... I was excited for Olympus at first. And mind you, we got Olympus with Horizon. For real, um, we know that. But I I could be wrong. I think it was with Horizon when we got Olympus. But we had Olympus um, with this as well. And I realized there were so much holes on the map. That was really my only complaint. It seemed like everywhere you go, you fell when Olympus was first brought. Like, it was just very annoying. The map wasn't too, too bad. But like I said, it's just people would snipe you super close and people pretty much were camping the whole time and not coming out to play. Pretty much. I definitely think the color theme of this season with the gold and the purple was really nice. Um, I don't have a problem with Valkyrie. I don't get too many people that know how to use her correctly, but I think her full quit is very fire. Um, like I said, this season was so-so for me. I definitely... um was on here quite a bit i think i finished my battle pass my wife ben gave up on apex i think she gave up after i'm loba for real so she wasn't playing i definitely played this it was not that bad but i don't think there was really nothing new for real enough and you know they kind of weren't updating the game with new content so the content pool was pretty ass so i'm probably gonna give this probably a c for that one now let's move on to seer i don't Sears a weirdo to me. I don't really care for him that much. Um, that's all I really had to say about it. That I play um, during his season. Yes, I did. I didn't want to grind it at this point for a PlayStation. It was unplayable on launch. Nobody could play for weeks. For real. Um, this was a season that made me say fuck Apex. I'm not going to lie to you at all. I'm gonna put this definitely in F. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, did I do that right? That's me. We're going to put that in F. Sorry, you guys. Anyway, so the last one, we're not going to talk about 12 because we do not have the season yet. The last one is this current season, season 11. This is the season where I officially came back to Apex. And I will say, guys, I'm having a blast. I really, really love this season. We got a new map, guys. Now, pretty much, we're on an island. Um, Do I like the map? I think the map is very, very beautiful and pleasant to look at. And I can't say I don't like the map because I haven't put enough time in on the map to fully get used to the change yet. Because I started late in the season. I started playing this again two weeks ago. 
and the season's finna end next week so i haven't really put enough time on the map to really know if i like it or not but so far guys i'm loving the weapons i'm loving everybody all the legends i'm learning new legends now i'm maining mirage fully so it's pretty cool it's a nice change and like i said i like the new map i like arenas i'm really having a blast so i will put this at a decent tier level i had really only played like i said two weeks so i can't rank it too high but I'm definitely going to put it in a B. I'm really looking forward to season 12 and I'm really excited. I hope it's definitely a better um, upgrade from this season. Um, Even though I haven't put that much time in, I can't cap. I really am having fun. So here we have it, y'all. That's the tier list that we have. I can't believe I'm really doing this, man. I hope you guys really, really like these videos, guys. If you guys want to see any other tier rankings, it can be based off gaming. It can be based off favorite foods, favorite video games, favorite movies, etc. Please drop a comment with your opinion. Let me know in the comment section below. What was your favorite Apex Legends season? Because I'm sticking with crypto, period. Um, Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you guys literally in the next one.